so far, Ortiz has uh, let this fight go on without any kind of uh, doctor examination. It does not seem to be affecting Shabali in terms of his performance. He's still stalking. He still looks relaxed in there. He definitely has a better gas tank than Davis at this time. Yeah, Davis is looking a little bit winded. Uh, again, it's what, what, what you want to see. I mean, you know, uh, Shabali, Shabali, Shabali excuse me, has uh, uh, all these cuts, but he's, he's definitely wearing down Davis with the kicks. You know, Davis is a, see how he's flinching down, thinking that's going to be a low kick. You know, uh, you know, Shambali should be working, you know, if I was his corner, work the low kick, work the low kick, and throw that right round kick to the head every now and then. 40, 20 seconds left to go in the second round. We will see a third round barring any kind of doctor stoppage. The crowd wants more action. Yeah, it's definitely a what have you done for me lately crowd. These guys are fighting good. They're having a good, good little war here. End of round two, and I'm happy with that round. I got no issues with that. Uh, I, Shabali doing a great job of stalking Davis. He picked up another 10-9 round in my book. Uh, he's winning this fight. Davis is going to have to do something very dramatic in the third round if he wants to win this fight. So here we go, third and final round underway in the lightweight matchup here at RFC Invasion of the Cage. Now, both guys need to get busy because Shambali cannot, you know, cannot be that confident with that round uh, just because of the nature of the fact he got cut. He's got to think in the back of my mind, maybe some of these judges didn't see it my way. He should be picking this fight up. Davis has got to be thinking I'm at least one round down, if not two rounds. I need to be picking this up. I need to think about finishing this fight by, by winning, not by just, you know, getting out on top of you with your, you know, standing. Hopefully at this stage of the game, judges can see past the blood and see the strikes and count strikes and count aggressiveness. But again, like you say, you never know. Why leave it up to the judges? Yeah. But, you know, one of the criteria is, is, is when it comes to effective striking is who does the most damage. And when you're bleeding and you're starting to swell, that's perceived as most of the damage, even though, you know, having a cut's not necessarily that big a deal. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys, again, matters of their background. If they understand, you know, if they understand kickboxing, they understand how devastating leg kicks are and that's really been Shambali's most effective technique has been uh, been his uh, strikes to the leg no question about it hey, oh good kick to the head good kick to the head that's what he needs to do and Davis acknowledged that one he needs to press the fight I don't know what neither one of these guys are seeming any degree of urgency to pick the pace up this is not the way to do it I think you, you, you mentioned it perfectly there guy no one seems to have the urgency and it is urgent for both fighters uh, Omar can't rest on his laurels, and they're going to get talked. They're going to get spoken to here. Oh, a point's going to be taken away. I didn't catch what that was. Uh, I don't know if you caught it. No, they're, ta they're taking a point away for for stalling. And uh, I never see an official warning. That's uh, pretty... Uh, that's, well, yeah, that's, that's the trend these days. You yeah. know more than anyone. That's yeah. the trend in, in uh, all the promotions. Uh, that you'll start getting penalized for timidity. Uh, yeah, well, you know, that's course, yeah, yeah, the passivity oh. thing. With right. The, oh. And, and uh, Davis has had enough. He had enough on the leg. He has had enough. And Omar Chabali at two minutes and eight seconds comes up with a big lightweight win over Kevin Davis. Omar Chabali. Well, we, we were talking about the kicks, and he kept taking the kicks. It's not the most dramatic-looking win, but it is an effective win. And uh, our self-trained fighter... Gets his first victory, which now he's one and one. Uh, did a good, you know, he, he fought a smart fight. You know, uh, he definitely stuck to his guns, wore the guy, you know, wore him down with the kicks. You know, that was a, definitely a good game plan. Omar Chabali going to 500 ball, one and one on his career. I know that he wants to get into the cage with Ralph Garcia again. Uh, was very upset that he lost his pro debut against Garcia. Let's go make it official. Elliot Wilborn. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by TKO in the third round with two minutes and two seconds, Omar Shabelli! No, I just, as soon as I touched him the first time, and I felt I got him in the right knee, that's it, I felt the fight's mine. As soon as I touched him, I felt the guy, the fight was mine. I wasn't worried all the time, you know. 
And I mean, you got a gash in the eye right there. I mean, did you lose phase in anything? No, 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 not at all. As long as I'm not tired, as long as I still feel strong, I don't care no matter what happens. What are you going to do to celebrate? My wife's birthday tomorrow. She told me this is my gift. And I'm very happy that I win. And tomorrow we go party.